Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Farad's Desi Kitchen. Today we are going to make beef stew. It's a Turkish recipe. It has a um, few spices, not as many spices as we have in our desi khana. But um, I'm going to add some spices into it. But it also has a sweet taste to it as well. So let's start the process and see how the Turkish recipe works. To start the process, I have Dutch oven or cast iron pan preheated. I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil in it. I had boneless beef. I cut the chunks into about two to three centimeters a piece. Um, these chunks are going to go in there. I'm going to fry them until the color changes. This is very important because the color is what's going to add the flavor to the stew. I have to wait till the um, pan is uh, the oil is heated properly. And I'm going to put pieces at a distance so they're not stuck together and fry them. These have been cooking for about two minutes on that side. Let's see what the color looks like. See, this is how the color is supposed to be. Like golden brownish. Now we'll flip them. We'll cook all of them for another two minutes on the other side. All right, it has been cooking for about three minutes on this side, and look, if this side is also brown. I'm going to put all of this in here, so all the juices can drain into the pot at the bottom. And now I'm going to add the second batch. You're not supposed to crowd the meat because if you do crowd it, it's not going to cook thoroughly. Now we'll wait for about 30 minutes to cook from each side on this one as well. I have green pepper, red pepper, and orange pepper chopped, and two carrot dice. All went in the pan. They're going to be sauteed for two to three minutes until all the vegetables get caramelized into the oil. Then we'll take those out as well. Okay, looks like they have been caramelized. I can see some juices on my vegetables. Now I'm going to take them out as well in here. We can add them in here as well because we need to drain all the juices from these. I have one red onion sliced in circles and I have about five to six cloves of garlic. These are going to go in here and we need to caramelize those as well until they change their color. For about two minutes. All right, here are my onions. They look caramelized. You see the color has changed at this point. We are going to add all of these things back into the pot and mix it well. I'm going to I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. Give it a good mix. And I will add two tablespoons of flour. I'm going to use my hand so I can sprinkle it well. This is going to make our sauce thick. Two 
turn the heat to low, cover it up and cook it for about two minutes. I'm going to cover this and cook it for two minutes on the low heat here. Let's take off the lid. There you have it. Now we can give it a good mix. Most of the flour, as you could see, was almost gone. Now I'm going to add a few things in it. About one tablespoon of oregano. A handful of cilantro. You can also add bay leaves, any herbs of your choice. One cup of vegetable broth. You could also add chicken broth if you like. These are peppercorns, a handful of peppercorns. One teaspoon of chili peppers. And about three to four tablespoons of vinegar. Four tablespoons of vinegar. I'll add a little bit more broth. So we can have a little bit more um, soup to it. This is just vegetable broth. Now give it a good mix. Just like that. And we're going to cook it on a very low heat for 30 minutes. Okay everyone, it has been half an hour. Um, the stew has been cooking on a low heat for about 35 minutes. I'm going to take off the lid and see what it looks like. At this point, you can add any dry fruits to it, whether it be um, figs or you can add apricot. It adds the sweet taste to it. I am not going to mix anything sweet or dry fruits in my um, stew because we don't like sweet with salty. So I'm just going to see if it's cooked all the way then we can just um, dish out and show you the final results. My beef is a little bit, um, it needs to be a little bit more tender. So I'm going to add about one cup of water, hot water in um, stew and cook it for another 20 to 25 minutes until the beef is very tender and soft. You can check your beef and see how soft your meat is. If you think the meat needs to be cooked a little bit longer. You can just cover it up on a low heat and let it simmer for another 25 to 30 minutes. All right, let's check. I had to cook this for a little bit longer than an half an hour. I had to cook it for like good two hours because the meat didn't get soft. Hopefully it's done now. Even if it's not done, I think I'm done with here. This is what this stew looks like. Let's check the meat. Yep, meat is tender now. See, I'm just gonna break a piece. See, you can break it with your hands. That means it's all ready to eat. This is what the final result looked like. Please let me know how you liked the video. Give my videos a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please um, share the video with your family and friends. Have a blessed day.